the brother has an ask a question in eastern countries people eat pond tobacco pond prog good car it's permissible um اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم و سلم علیہ وسلم علیہ وسلم علیہ وسلم علیہ وسلم علیہ وسلم یقو کھولے تو برادر ہے آسکنگ کوئیشن ان ایسٹرن کانٹر ایس مینی پیول ایٹ اپان گوٹکا پان پراک اور دا اور دا سپاری سمتنگ سمتنگ لائک دیر اور دا پان and uh, uh, well coming to the if I make it like a very simple answer to that that's haram now many people try to contradict me and many people try to uh, counter argue with me why this is haram this, this I'm not taking any any um, alcohol in there it's not something uh, like drugs in there it's not something like that so let me try to uh, make them understand why this is haram and why this is forbidden I'm going to give an example. There was a hadith of the Prophet ﷺ. Once the person, once the Sahaba walked into the masjid and he ate an uh, onion. The Prophet ﷺ asked him, when you come to the masjid, do not eat an onion. And why would the Prophet ﷺ ask, uh, told him to do not eat an onion to come to the masjid? Because the, the masjid is a house of Allah. We have to be very disciplined, we have to be very mannered, we have to clean ourselves, not just like we walk in, we eating any uh, garbage in our mouth and we can just walk in and smelling and understand something. This is not something, uh, uh, it's a smelling and this is also being a distracting uh, other, uh, the people who are playing. Because what happens when they pray, the bad odor is coming into, the, into their uh, nose they are smelling and they are being distracted from what they are reciting so this falls into the forbidden now why the pan parak and the kutka and the cigarette i'm going to include the cigarette in that this falls into the same category with this kind of things are totally haram in the matter of cigarette and let me just mention about the cigarette the cigarette that is smoke why this is haram because many people say this is just like a habit and just to waste our time just to relieve ourselves from a headache cigarette when we smoke the cigarette we know by scientifically by medically it has been totally very positively uh, proven by the medical records and the in the laboratories and even scientifically it is being proven that the smoking is a cancer and how does the cancer because what happens when you smoke that you have a fresh air going into your lungs what happens when you smoke even a little bit you're taking some type of a poison into that lungs you're telling lungs okay take the poison each time you smoke that that uh, dirty smoke that goes into the lungs it is keep damaging you know when we have a um, like a metal type or like a steel type of thing uh, sitting by the seaside and after some time you will see a lot of dust on that this is similarly this case here each time we smoke that smoke go and jammed into the walls of the lungs and they, it keep increasing and increasing and in increasing it damages yourself what happened at the, at, the, at, at the older ages this comes into, into the fact that person gets a disease of coughing he could get a cancer he could get a lung cancer he could get a liver cancer but many people say okay everyone smoke I smoke in sometimes only I do not smoke all the time but regardless you smoke one time or two times this is like you do one time haram or two times haram or three times haram you are doing haram that is forbidden and smoking is something we are damaging our body and one of the hadiths the uh, one of the hadiths of Qudsi, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said I have forbidden a zulm on myself and also I have forbidden a zulm on yourself so by smoking by smoking you are doing a zulm on your body because this body and everything this is the belonging of Allah it doesn't have a uh, this does not belong to us this is the belonging of Allah he sent to us a uh, he gave us a uh, life in dunya to test us how do we live a life like in surah al-mulk verse number two it says alladhi khalaq al-mawta wal hayata liya bulukum ayyukum ahsanu amala and also in surah zariyat verse number 56 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّةِ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبَدُونَ I have created the humans and the jinns to worship me. So when we are doing, when we are using a body for our own self in something what is forbidden, that is something we are doing a zulm and also that is haram. And doing a zulm on ourselves, that is haram. And now the similar case comes into eating upon gutka and all these garbage things. And even I'm going to talk about something like the, the, the smoker has the really bad smell from his mouth. Even they take the tablets, they spray themselves, but that doesn't cover because they do have something bad odor sitting inside them. And when they go to pray, when they make a uh, prayer, it's, it's naturally the next person is being distracted because of the smell. And what happens that uh, with that uh, smoker usually naturally have a, a body smell, his clothing will have a smell of smoke. It, this is very natural. And when the person going into so, so the Prophet was talking about the person and uh, not to come to the masjid uh, when eating an onion. So let's talk about the cigarette. Cigarette is something like a worst garbage. It's, it, it's totally disgusting that somebody would smoke and go into the masjid and he's not even uh, he's not even realizing this is the house of Allah and he has to stop all these things and then on the right side and the left side and the front side on the back side everybody's get, getting distracted because of the order is coming in the back and in the front and the similar case it comes to the people who are eating a good cup upon <laughs> and all these things they're making have themselves uh, addicted so for an example these people are eating upon good car i guarantee you not even a one person uh, you will see whose face looks beautiful his mouth looks beautiful who are eating this kind of uh, gutter I would call this a gutter because when they eat it, their face and the whole mouth becomes gutter. You will never see their teeth are good. You will never see their mouth is clean. You will never see uh, they have a lips problem. So they are doing a zulm on self. So this is, for, this is forbidden and haram. So most people who does that, uh, the majority people who does that uh, in India, and uh, an extremely high rate in in bangladesh and uh, number three i would say a uh, pakistan and in pakistan majority uh population does that that's in karachi these people do that and they are falling into the cancer and they are damaging themselves and look i mean think about it you're going to the house of allah you're going to make a prayer and you have a gutter mouth walking into the masjid with your ugly teeth and your disgusting teeth and smelling with a pan and kutka and you damage your scalp and uh, there's an extreme um, uh, rate of people uh, who have caused it, uh, mouth cancer, teeth cancer, tongue cancer, uh, inside throat cancer because they are eating that garbage. Those people are doing uh, business, they are selling a death to these people not even a death they are forbidden they are selling an evil this risk is haram and these people who are doing that this is something which is forbidden this is something um, they go to the, into the masjid with their ugly mouth and the whole uh, ugly teeth coming out and smell coming out and not even distracting themselves and also distracting the other people in the masjid when you go to the house of allah you have to be very clean in the very proper dressing with the simple clothing so eating this kind of habits was by the figure uh good car pawn and all the thing making ourselves addicted to that that's haram we are we're doing haram because we're doing a zulm on our body because this body belongs to allah not ourselves